What's up guys, this is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Austin and Brian with Meromorphosis. We're at their shop right now and we have an awesome build that they built right here. So we're gonna talk to them a little bit about this ride. Guys, tell me, what do we have here? This is a 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner. She was probably destined for the scrap yard and we, we resurrected it. What was it like when you when the car arrived to you guys? In pieces, basically. It was pretty rusty. We've pretty much redone everything on this car as far as sheet metal wise, floors, trunk pan, door skins, quarter panels, everything. We've done the whole deal on this car. It's really cool that you guys are building it here father and son build together so that's super awesome that you yeah, guys can do exciting, that for sure let's go ahead and, and lift the hood up here and check out the motor what you guys got we have a gen 3 hemi out of a late model challenger we've been all through this motor we had some issues with it when we first got it and we redid the motor completely about three weeks before this car was completely finished we ended up redoing everything in it this has been a heck of a build here so you're looking at sniper intake poly injectors you know, the valve covers are Holly, coil packs, MSD, Holly, Terminator X fuel injection. We do a lot of Holly stuff. 4L80, it's got a billet adapter to adapt the Hemi to the 4L80. I know Mopar guys probably be a little sad about that. FDI converter, just everything on it. Completely custom, one-off deal, one-off cold side kit, a lot of race part stuff, V-bands, tubing, motion race work, catch can, it's got everything. And I see you got a little power adder there tell me a little bit about that yeah so it's got a little pro charger on it it's just a little p1 uh, not making a whole lot of boost right now but still breaking in the motor obviously we're going to turn that up here probably soon everything's powder coated in-house powder coated the pro charger powder coated the radiator all the tubing you know anything that we could powder coat on this thing we could fit in our booth it's powder coated all the hoses are all an they're all crimped an so super nice super clean what's the horsepower you think this is is going to be making man right now Probably conservative in the five to 550 maybe, but we turn up the boost, you know, this thing will probably top out, hopefully like somewhere around 700, that'd be super cool. Yeah. You know, that's more than enough for a pro charge deal. This project's been a three year project. We're right at three years on this. You know, it was pretty extensive to do what everything we had to do to this car. My dad did a lot of the body work, all the sheet metal work, did paint work. And it means that out, time my dad has passed away this was the last car that he did paint so it's pretty special to us turkey rod run was our debut with this car and we we scrambled to get it done we were working on it the day before we left here to go there and it's just kind of the way it goes when you're doing stuff like this we got a lot of attention down there with the car and the car is beautiful it you know speaks for itself we got a u.s mag rambler wheel on this car we did a 20 by 8 in the front with a hand cooked tire on it on the back we did an 18 by 10 with a mickey thompson a 305 mickey thompson tire on the back uh, we knew this car would make a little bit of horsepower we wanted it to hook up a little bit big and little combination kind of really cool on the front of this car we have a girth suspension we did away with the factory k member under this car this car would have had torsion bar suspension on the front now it's got a new k member to put that gen 3 hemi in it and it's actually got upper and lower control arms on it now instead of torsion bars with a steering rack wheel wood brakes on the front of it in the back we did a mopar eight and three quarter the original rear in this we shortened it up a little bit to tuck that big tire. We did a triangulated four link on it. Same same company did the front, does the rear gotcha. as a, a coil over so we can give it that nice aggressive stance that it has now. So we got Austin to talk about the exhaust a little sure. bit. Tell me what exhaust are you running on the car? So started out with just a typical long tube header, put V bands on them all the way out the back, three inch, magna flows, pretty nice setup. I mean, I would say this car may be nicer on the underneath side than it is on the top side. Which is surprising, because yeah. it looks beautiful out. People on that might outside. not believe that, but. Yeah. And then you're the one that did all the exhaust, yep. you welded, fabbed everything, right? Every piece on this exhaust, all done here in-house by me. And I heard it earlier when we were moving it in the garage, it sounds freaking awesome. So I'm not a Mopar guy, but it does have a nice tone to yeah, it. it. I like good. it. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's talk about the interior a little bit. Dude, this 
looks so freaking good. Tell me, what kind of seats are you are you rocking here? I see it's a, the TMI's here? It has a TMI front seat on both sides. It has the factory original back seat in it. We actually got the material from TMI to match the upholstery. Okay. We had a local upholstery shop do the back seat to match it. So that all comes together nicely. We fabricated the seat brackets in this one to make these seats work in here. It actually has a 2015 Dodge Challenger console oh, in it really? we made work in here yeah it looks great dude what are you rocking as far as the gauges go we have a dakota digital gauge package in this lights up real yeah. nice and i also see that it's got ac in the car did it come in the car or did you guys do that uh this car originally did not have ac we put a vintage air kit in this car they make a system that goes right in here we we made a couple of little changes to it to make it fit our style yeah. and and, and it works really well. I mean, I see that it's got the, the screen here. Does it have like a little system or anything? Some it good speakers? Have, it does have a little system in it. You'll see in the trunk, we've got all the stereo components are all back in the back, back there, wired up real nice and clean. That does have a navigation and a backup camera, everything's in it. Really? It's oh, got yeah. a backup camera in there? Yes, sir. Dude. All right, so that's it for interior. I say we get some cameras in here and go for a cruise. What you think? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. are hurting from smiling so much oh my god yeah this car is cool man this would be such a cool freaking cruiser car i love it i mean not a mopar guy at all but man this car it, it checks off all the boxes. i just love all black everything too just interior outside like it looks so clean dude definitely hard to take care of but it it's a nice combination for sure dude and like i was saying before man this thing just sounds so freaking awesome it is. I mean, I'm not a big Hemi guy, so I didn't know how it was going to sound. You know, I made the exhaust just like I make every other exhaust, yeah. and, man, I, I like the way it turned out. Yeah, dude. You killed it for sure, man. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. A little burnt out a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Get a little sideways. You got to love it. Something, something. I bet you and your dad were honestly so stoked to finally like get this Dude, done. And when it finally got finished, it was almost like I almost couldn't believe it. You yeah. know, it takes it takes so long to build one of these cars, especially when it comes to you and it's not already kind of running and driving. Yeah, yeah, when they come to you in buckets, there's no doors on it, there's no front end on it, floors are rotted out of it, yeah. dude. It's like you got to replace everything, and you know, it takes it takes a lot of time, yeah, especially yeah. when you don't have you know. You don't have a big shop with a lot of guys, you know, yeah. two, three guys trying to do the whole thing. And yeah, you, know, you and your dad, man, like exactly. that's crazy. You know, it's, it's tough, but yeah. you know, that's that's why we do it. You know, For some sure. guys are just they're weird like us, and they yeah, like that. Yeah. They like that challenge. You know? I feel that, man. You know, I couldn't do something where I wasn't, you know, working with my hands, getting dirty, you know, yeah. cutting myself up. You know, just it's the grittiness. Dude. Yeah, dude. that's awesome. Well, you guys built a freaking awesome machine, dude. Like this is. This More thing is killer, dude. More to come, my friend. Dude, I'm I'm excited to see what you guys build next, man. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Gum Out for sponsoring this video. What they did is they hooked up Brian and Austin here with some Gum Out Regain. What this does is it cleans the entire fuel system, removes carbon deposits, cleans fuel injectors and carburetors to help maximize fuel economy and improve horsepower. So huge shout out to Gum Out for hooking us up with this. Also big shout out to Austin and Brian for letting me do this. You guys killed it on this. And if anybody is looking to have their car built, I'm gonna leave all the info for these guys in the description below. So if you're looking for a sweet hot rod, make sure to hit these guys up again. Thank you guys for letting me do this. I appreciate you guys. So if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.